Over 500 people in the U.S. have already died from the H1N1 flu. And with kids about to head back to school, federal health officials aren't taking any chances. So they're holding a meeting at CDC headquarters in Atlanta. Our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton is there now, and she joins us. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Chris. The CDC is holding a two-day conference here in Atlanta on the H1N1 virus, and surely at the top of the list of topics to be discussed will be the vaccine, an update on the vaccine and how it will be distributed. But as federal government starts planning its own guidelines, state and local government are making its own plans about how they'll deal with the H1N1 virus come the fall. At Boston Medical Center, EMS workers are now training to administer H1N1 vaccinations. You say, sir, this is going to feel a little uncomfortable, but this is just a little squirt. While state and local government await federal guidance on distributing an H1N1 vaccine, government health officials are preparing for a serious outbreak. I think this country is really gearing up for a major vaccine campaign this fall. I think uh, if we're trying to vaccinate everybody, there are going to be logistical difficulties. According to the CDC, 195 million doses of an H1N1 vaccine are expected by the end of the year, but each patient will likely need two doses. The first batch of H1N1 vaccinations will not be distributed until mid-October at the earliest. Among the first to receive them will be healthcare workers on the front lines. So what kind of plans have you set into place to anticipate H1N1 and seasonal flu this year? Staffing plans, extending hours, um, recalling staff are all part of what we have in place. Chris, the hospitals that we've spoken to say they already have made plans to house patients in other parts of the hospital should other parts become overcrowded. But we want to emphasize people having things like chest pain will still be going to the emergency room. So in terms of flu symptoms, emergency rooms really should just be used for emergencies. All right, doctor, let's clear up any confusion. Exactly how many shots are people going to need this fall? All told. Well, We'll, we'll probably get that answer in the next two days here at this conference, but it looks as if the answer will be three, one for the seasonal flu virus and two for the H1N1 virus. And that's thought to be because people are not, have not been exposed to it before, so they don't have the natural immune memory to protect them against those viruses. The other thing that's not known, Chris, is whether some of those doses could be given simultaneously at the same doctor's visits. You might be able to get the seasonal flu virus and one of the H1N1 doses to Together, but we'll keep you posted. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton for us down at the CDC convention in Atlanta. Thank you, doctor.